in a galaxy far, far away, there existed the Sith with their TIE Fighters. Or, in real life, a galaxy that literally looks like a TIE Fighter. Wait, what? Supernova style science news with Jelly Seven Sage. So what's going on with this amazing galaxy? And why does it look like a TIE Fighter in some frequencies, but not others? I'm gonna explain how, but first let me tell you about the galaxy TXS0128. The galaxy is 500 million light years away in the constellation Cassiopeia. It's an active galaxy, meaning all the light it emits can't be taken into account by just the stars. And the supermassive black hole in the center of the galaxy is the mass of one billion suns. This galaxy is also a faint source of gamma rays, and it is so faint that it is 100,000 times fainter than most of the other 3,000 active galaxies that have been found by the Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope. After Fermi detected this galaxy, Matthew Lister and S. Mandal from Purdue University, Daniel Homan from Denison University, Yuri Kovalev and Alexander Pushkarev from Moscow Institute of Physics, and Aneta Semenganowska from the CFA at Harvard used the very long baseline array and the Chandra X-ray telescope to look closer at the galaxy and see its shape. How they saw the shape is very interesting because it's so far away that you can't just take a picture of the galaxy. They used the VLBA to chart out its shape by using a huge range of radio frequencies. It charts out what it sees in each frequency, and then once they have images from a multitude of frequencies, the whole structure can be seen. They put together this GIF to show just a few of the frequencies they used. At about 2.3 GHz, it looks like a blob. And then at 6.6, .6, it looks like a TIE Fighter from Star Wars. Then at 15.4 GHz, there's a gap between the lobes and the core. The scientists believe that this gap was caused by a random stop of activity in the jets. They believe the jets started 90 years ago, and then there was a sudden stop about 50 years ago. And then 10 years ago, the jets just started back up again. No one knows what caused those sudden starts and stops of the jets. The radio emissions measured by the VLBA also show another very interesting aspect of the galaxy. Many theorists believe that radio bright active galaxies produce gamma rays when they collide with intergalactic gas. But the lobes in TXS0128 don't produce enough combined energy to explain the gamma ray emissions. The scientists believe that the gamma rays are being produced closer to the core instead of out by the lobes. They then use the Chandra X-ray telescope to look closer at the core of the galaxy. They were looking for a cloud of ionized gas surrounding the center. They couldn't find evidence of it being there or not being there. There has been evidence for other galaxies having a cloud of ionized gas around their core, so it is totally possible. The observations do, however, show that there is a large amount of non-ionized dust and gas surrounding the core. So there's a lot more to find out with this galaxy, and it's a really cool looking galaxy as well. If you want to know more, check out the links below. If you want more cool science news, follow. Remember to share cool science stories with your friends to show your supernova style.